Yes, sir. I know you just arrived home from where you were previously been, but if you don't mind, who is this woman? Ah, uh, she's someone you know, Ludicrous. What? Ridiculous. I do not know this woman. Ah, uh, <laughs> oh, yes, you do. You just. Is she perhaps. Yeah, I keep going. One of the. Uh, wait, what, what are you talking about? Oh. What the weapon I. What? Oh, oh no, 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 oh lord, no, no, I just, I'm afraid I do not know who she is, tell it all these contractions, will you, what, it's like, there's nothing, uh, can you tell him who you are, because this is getting kind of awkward, how do you think I feel, I've never seen this, I haven't seen him in years. Ever since. Where he goes, sir. There's this young lady. Yes. This here is Calliope. Boy, that's not the time for jokes. My Calliope is dead. Long dead. Even if this was her, she, she wouldn't look so young. Now, nah. let's go. You good for nothing bastard. What well, he doesn't have such a tongue. Oh right. Yeah, you you'd be surprised what you pick up on after escaping Elysium. What? Yeah, you're not the only one who can cheat death, Dad. That's... No, 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 no. That is impossible. Oh, really? I know how I did it? <clears throat> I'll tell you how. I took a page out of your book. I got angry. I, uh, I, uh, I don't understand. You, you abandoned me. You pushed me away. And left me there. I would have. I don't know what. You and everyone else would have died if I did not leave. Yeah. I know. I know that now. But still, what? Even if it meant dying, I would have cherished those few moments with you forever. Uh, I, I never. Yeah, you never thought of the uh, other people. When it comes to your rampages, did you? I, 
oh yeah, there's a boat captain and there's the soldiers. Well, you've done so many things. And for what? Just to leave. Yeah. I, I I had no I didn't have a choice. I had to save you. Funny. It would be nice if you were of a uh, last me. You could have asked me which what I have chose. What? Did you even think to ask me, would I rather spend my last few moments with you or spend my whole afterlife, my eternity, all alone with the memories of you tossing me aside, pushing me away like I meant nothing? I... I, uh, you know why I would have chosen. I would have rather spent all of what time I have left just hugging you. I would have looked death in the face with a big smile on my face just knowing that you were there with me. But what happened? Tell me what happened. Don't lie to me. I, I, I didn't. I never. I didn't think. You never do. You were just an arrow that someone pointed somewhere. As soon as the bowstring was released, you would go to wherever, to wherever it pointed, not caring who got caught in the crossfire. You see, I know what happened at that day. What? Yeah. I knew that you didn't mean to kill us. I heard the screams burning, raging fires. Uh, I, um, you know what I felt when I saw you burst through those doors? I felt happy. I thought you were there to save us. Only to get cut down. But that I know it wasn't your fault. As I was fading next to my mother, I saw the look in your eyes. I saw the regret. The way you were shaking. Why else do you think, as soon as I saw you and Alicia, I ran up to you and embraced you instead of pushing you away? I, uh, I, I, uh, Yeah, it's for us to be together again. I had so many things I wanted to say to tell you about the afterlife, but then you had to leave. And though, yes, I do know now that you 
did it to save us. It's me and all those gods. It's just the fact that you didn't consider my feelings either. Did you even try to come back? Did you consider whether you could have returned to Elysium any time you wanted after completing your mission? I... <clears throat> What was stopping you from coming back? You could have told me that don't worry, I'll be back. I have to take care of something. But you didn't. You just left me. <laughs> Do you have any idea how that feels? No explanation that my last memory of you was uh, you shoving me away and I caught glimpses of you just I know do you because it seems like how I feel never really mattered, as long as you finished whatever job or <sighs> spent my days in Elysium stewing over everything I've been through. Growing up. With you, Mom, playing my flute. The flute you made me, remember? I do. <laughs> Up until the day you killed us by yes accident. The joy I felt of seeing you again. Only to have my hopes taken away because she has something more important to do. I understand it now, but you have no idea what it feels like to feel abandoned by your father. Do you... Can you imagine? The feelings I had being switched from hope to absolute despair and sadness, knowing that you left me again. Yes, I, I do. Really? I mean, that song I used to play. No, I do not. Me neither. They never played that song ever again. And today I decided to take matters to my own hands. I decided to find you. Do you like my decorations? Do you like the paint I chose? Yeah, I did to remind myself of you. So that every time I look at the mirror, I know exactly why. Granted, I'm not as pale as you are. Believe me, I didn't see that coming. <laughs> but as I trained, 
which believe me is a lot harder when there's no one to teach you when it comes to the agogi. But I may do. Couldn't really kill any monsters, so all I did was build up my strength. I trained until my muscles ached. Until my bones felt like they were, were going to break. With only my rage to fuel my desire to see you again. Did I know it was going to work? No. But I didn't know. Just in case. I was going to make sure I was ready to face you. And everything else that could possibly hurt me again. I wasn't going to give you an opportunity to truly you know, brush me off. I hated you. I just wanted to know why. At very least, if I couldn't get answers, I knew I'd be strong enough to at least kick your ass. in the ways of Sparta. <laughs> yeah, imagine my surprise when Sparta was gone. And seeing the whole world in ruins. <laughs> it's, it's not crazy. <sighs> yeah. You can say you really did a number on our world. Luckily, rebuilding was a bit easier thanks to your final act. You have no idea how strange it was to see the floods, the darkened skies, the sickness, the insects, the famine. Wanting to know what happened. But then I heard about you. How you have apparently had enough serving the gods whose asses you used to kiss. And what did you expect for a reward? Again? Did you? You want to forget, right? You want to forget, but you did. You had nightmares, seeing the blood on in your hands, our blood on your hands. You expected that they would just allow you this. Allow you to just wash away your sins? Granted, I'm surprised you didn't think of taking a drink or swim in the, you know, the river of forgetfulness. What? <laughs> I thought so. You didn't even realize that. Yeah. Did you forget there was a... Yeah. You will just have to jump in. At least take a sip. And you will have forgotten. God knows how much. It's kind of funny. It really... It really is. Despite you... Uh, 
well, I can, I can honestly say it's probably a good thing that you didn't do that. You know? What? Oh, yeah. Just imagine how the gods would have just kept toying with you. Who knows? Maybe you would have already had another wife and kid. And, oops. You already did, didn't you? You already moved on from us. From mom? From me? And according to this cutie right here, do we have a daughter? Yeah, he told me about about him. Yeah, we told him about your wife and daughter. Yeah, he told me about him. How you choose to be better all of a sudden? Yeah, you told me about that. I thought it was crazy to think of someone with such rage and ambition to suddenly, I just want a peaceful, calm life. You don't want to be angry anymore. You don't want to kill anymore, conquer territory, you don't hmm. yeah it's very interesting how it took you so so long to uh, how it took you pretty damn long, a long time to finally realize that it's okay to be, just be content with family life. I'm sorry that we weren't enough. That I wasn't enough to get you to stop fighting. I had no choice. But that was the way. Oh, yeah. A lot good that did, didn't you? Hmm. You wouldn't have even had to... You know, kiss Aries' ass. If it wasn't for the way. Granted, you did win, luckily. But you lost so much, didn't you? To be quite honest, we're not even mad anymore. That match you released. I just wish you could have came back and and hugged me again. But you you didn't. You left. <sighs> I did go to where you sacrificed yourself. I was very surprised to find that there was nobody. Just a uh, streak of blood. It's crazy, huh? No matter how hard you try, you just can't seem to stay dead. Well, very at least me, you have something in common. Sorry it took so long. I think, it, I think we could have made a really great father-daughter duo, actually. <sighs> I should have started crying and started getting angry from the beginning. Maybe you wouldn't have had to replace us. Uh, sorry. I'm, I'm sorry. For what? For what? What are you sorry for? 
for destroying the world, killing the gods, all those innocent people, for killing me and mom. Or from making the deal with Ares from the beginning. You don't even know what to really feel sorry for with me right here. Do you? Tell me. Tell me you know exactly what you're sorry for. Please. I... I... Come on. Show me this new you. I want to hear you prove how, how much you changed. Won't you tell me? What are you sorry for? Please. Please tell me what you're sorry for. I need to hear it. At least once, I need to hear what you're sorry for. You know what? Come find me. Me, you realize what you're truly sorry for. Thank you, Izuku. You. <sighs> Thank you for uh, allowing me to see my dad again. Uh, boy. Hey, hey, she said she just wanted to talk. Well, did you come across her? Do you really all know? Yes. We have a flashback. Yeah, I'm not even about to take Izuku's cheeks. And this is when Clypey does show up after hearing about someone who knew he knows about Kratos. So yeah, after that, he pretty much uh, you can't leave y'all hot and bar like this, and not at least no, 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 you were not doing this to him. Well, what have we said about consent? Uh, old habits die hard. Uh, I don't, I don't remember you hearing story about you forcing yourself onto somebody. Well, you know, I, uh, never mind it, For, forget it, just, just leave, and put that thing away. So, but I at least wanted to use it today. You use it every day. Fair point. But hell, he's different. Yeah. What do you mean he's different? Heck, I would. If anything, he's probably as tight as a drum. No. No. No means no. Seriously, your dad would have denied me. Well, he doesn't look like my dad. No. No, he does not, but he sure enough has the physique I like. Please leave. Fine. I'll find someone else to entertain me. But boy. Hmm? If you ever get interested, just let me know. Not too far away. <laughs> You're scaring him. 
Oh yeah, I know. See you, Clippy. Thank you. Thank you. You are an angel. Okay, don't don't get too excited here. <clears throat> so you know my dad. Oh wait, oh my god, that's right. She's this call you Calliope. Wait, you're the Calliope? Your dad's first child? Dad. Dad? He had a son? No, no, wait, 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 no, 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 I was raised by him and his wife. What? He had a what? He remarried? Oh, no, screw it. Yeah, he re ended up being remarried, and he had to have a daughter. I may just write later on, you know. What nonsense. I, I cannot believe this. So, you're Calliope. Like the Calliope. Yeah? How do you know me? Your dad. Really? Yeah. He told me everything. Yeah. How he killed us, abandoned us twice now, I think it is. Twice. Yeah. First he abandoned me in Elysium. Then he abandoned everyone to go wherever he went. I say that counts as abandonment twice. Huh, I guess I can see why you would say that. But how are you here? Like this doesn't look like Elysium. Oh Oh, no, no, it, it, it isn't. This is far from Elysium. Believe me. You see, I uh, spent a lot of time down there wondering why my dad would just up and leave me again. But then I thought, why not ask him myself? What? Oh yeah. You see, I decided to train myself to make it so no one could hurt me ever again. Make it so I can take care of myself. So I could survive long enough to meet my dad once again. Oh. Okay. That's, that's good. That's a nice, oh, you would think so. But, that's not all. Hmm? This is when Calliope takes out the play of Olympus. Izuku seeing this is all, if not, terrified. What's that for? I'm going to shove this through his chest. This time I'm going to make sure he stays dead. Why? He abandoned the world, left it in ruins, and he can't honestly think that he's going to just up and dip. You you can't you cannot just expect him to not face repercussions for what he's done. Well, he he feels bad for everything. Oh yeah, he feels bad. Oh yeah, of course. He never cared. 
you never care about who he had to cut down, tear apart, stab, slash, he's, uh, feeds are monsters. As long as his goals were completed, he didn't care who he had to step on, who he had to leave behind. So yeah, Chazar says he wants to forget he had a daughter in Greece. This would be a perfect way for me to forget I ever had a father at all. I feel like I should inform you of some stuff. What are you talking about? Ezu explains everything from him wanting to be better, him raising Atreus, which Ezu still thinks is a girl, <laughs> you know, the daughter. <laughs> this one Calliope is definitely pissed off to the point where she's wrecking the tent. She is pretty much going on a warpath. Over this whole thing, like, so now he wants to be a good father and husband. He chooses now to be better. Were we just not worth it? Zuko trying his best to talk her down, make sure she doesn't do anything too drastic. But it's, it's not easy, considering she's the one holding the weapons, while he's the one just trying to be the voice of reason. He said he actually does get her to calm down and offers her a deal. Okay. I can't let you kill him. I will see you try to stop me. I've been trained by him. Yeah. But I doubt you have God blood and right through those veins of yours. Fair point, fair point. But... Why not do something that can help you both? Oh, don't worry. I'm going to help him, all right? I'm going to give him something he doesn't even deserve. A merciful death. What? Oh, yeah. Now I want him to come back. Not this time. Why try talking first? What? Yeah, just, just talking. You're, you're serious? Yeah. Why not? Okay, let me get this straight. You. Yes. You want me to talk to my father who killed and abandoned me, then abandoned the world. Do you want me just to talk to him and work through my issues? Yeah, prepare very much. Yeah, yeah. And why would I want to do that? Well, uh, well. Things shouldn't be a, a better alternative to just cold blood and murder, don't you think? You know what? Yeah, you know what? I'm fine. But first things first, you're going to get me there. So, how did you get here in the first place? Oh, yeah, sure. Give me a second. Mm, yeah. Ah, all right. Just push this button, and there. And here we are now. Rios is distraughted. So my daughter is back in the flesh, and she hates me. Yes. Yeah, I'm just sort of, but, 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 but hear me out. She's not trying to kill you. 
with this. I I would deserve it for what I've done. True. True. But you are not the same kind of war that you were before. I have matured the years. Well, she she was alone this whole time. Hey, that is not your fault. You you were blinded by my need for vengeance. Yeah. That does seem to get in the way, doesn't it? Yes. It truly does. Okay, I'm back, and as Calliope has still some issues to work out. Where's Atreus? Uh, I haven't seen her in a while. Oh, he's, um, busy. He should be back in, um, in a few minutes. So, okay, let's go. Wait, 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 wait a minute. What? You said he. Yes. Don't you, don't you mean she? No. Atreus is your daughter, remember? Oh. Oh. Right. You do not know. What? What do you mean? Yeah, you really don't know. I, f I forgot you didn't know this whole time. Explain. What don't I know? Hey, Dad. Trius. Look, a boy. You see, you're turning around and seeing a male, a Trius. Hey. What? He's so good, you're back. Atreus? That's me. Yeah, what's up? <laughs> oh, that's right. You didn't know. Uh, yeah, turn around, I can shape shift. Oh. So, but why are you shape shifting into a dude? Uh, oh. Oh, right, that's right, I, we never told you. What? Tell me what? Eh, I was always a dude. What? Yeah. So why... Say, oh, it's... If uh, anything... I... Uh, I wanted to... Test a, test something out. What? Okay. <clears throat> you see, a, a long time ago, you know, back when we were young and everything, we we would spend a lot of time together and whatnot. And I noticed that you. Seem to really care about mom. Go on. So I thought, why not pull a little prank on you and you, you didn't. I did. I just didn't repent myself and the rest is history. I really want to see her. How you react? That is dedication. What? That is dedication to a prank. How dare you, madam? Wait, wait, sir. I mean, wait, you. I mean, damn. Wait, wait. So all those times, 
yeah, all the time we ended up bathing together, sleeping in the same bed roll or whatever. I was a guy. I just saved it to the intel woman. So. You're kidding me? What? So, them times where we, what, oh, we're talking about where we did end up kissing? Uh, yeah, I was still a guy. Just in a woman's body. <laughs> you did all this for a prank. Well, at first it was, but then... I know it's just how much you admired mom, and I thought, eh, one does just. What's that for? Give me back. Uh, what? Now I'm all sorts of confused. What? I was born a guy. I decided in the beginning to prank you. Heck, I would be completely honest. I don't know if I was going to smoke beans, but at the end of the day, I just decided to stick with it. And going to kick your ass. What? You heard me. I am going to kick your ass. Wait, 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 wait. This is unnecessary. Really? I see it as very necessary for my state of mind. Listen, Izuku, I, uh, I do care about you. Uh, it's just, I, um, wait, he did her best back to the girl, like, you want to hit a woman, would you? You know that's not going to work, right? It's a good shot. I mean, seriously, you always, you already spilled the beans that you were actually a dude this whole time. You just stick to being a woman. Just to be an ass. In the beginning. Yeah, yeah, I get it, I, I know. I mean, it's, it's so stupid. And plus, you spent enough time in the world I you came from. True. Yeah, we we have equal rights and equal lips. I know. So yeah, you you deserve this ass whooping. You know that, right? You know. Good. At least you know. Is, yes, he's a good proceeds to whoop the ever living crap out of Atreus. Kratos, of course, is still tackling with the fact that not only his daughter. Calliope is still alive, but she hates his guts. <sighs> okay, I feel better. Are you serious? What? As pissed as I still am, I would. I wouldn't trade the time we he spent together. Really? Really? But so help me God, if you try any bullshit again, your ass is grass, and I will be the lawnmower. That's fair. No, that, yeah, that, that, that's, that, that's fair. <sighs> Good. Now, where's Koski? I gotta tell her how sorry I am for leaving. Oh, uh... Last time I checked, she was 
Oh. Oh dear. What? She was on her way here. Wait. What? Wait, does she know? Yeah. She kid my ass too. Yeah, it's not like something she would do. As soon as these dudes starts hearing explosions, and he sees Kotsky, he's like, Kachan! Izuku! Oh my goodness, you have no idea how happy I am to see you! Really? Oh yeah! Well, you need to be punished for leaving like you did. Huh? Yeah, you did you didn't think I forgot about that, did you? Huh? I'm sorry? Yeah, I'm, I'm gonna whoop your ass. Just like I did your uh, brother Atreus. Is there any way for me to possibly talk you out of it? Oh no. You won't kiss these hands. <laughs> be honest, I was using him as my punchy bag and just waiting for you to come back. Oh. I see that you're... You still have your passion? Well, if I want to be a hero, I should try to curb somebody more... Less heroic tendencies, don't you think? Fair enough. She runs up and... Yeah. Sends a... That's a blast into his face. Wait. Wait. That... That, that, that doesn't... Yeah, what, what the hell? He's a... She blows up. Damn. Um, she makes an explosion. She throws an explosion in his face. Damn it! She uses her... Let's just say she uses her quirk and blows up a Zuku. Okay, that works. Perfect. And yeah, Zuku is critically injured. Luckily, he does end up healing fast, but that just gives the Kasi more green light to unleash more ass whoopingness. Her, of course, happy to see him again, but also pissed at the fact that he left in the first place because he couldn't make a decision. <sighs> what is her violent urges are subsided? She does, you know, get an explanation. When she hears about Calliope, she starts to flare up in anger again, wondering, oh, okay, so you got another one, you brought another woman here. Yes. And it just so happens that it's his daughter. Just look at Curiosa, where she's just sitting down. Yeah. Why? Just, just why? What? 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 What is it with you and finding some of the most? And why does it end up being his kids? Look, I don't know either. All I know is, <sighs> I've been through a lot. Uh huh. He almost got his cheese taken. Kratos! Wait. Boy. What? Koski looking at Izuku. Like, no! You used to. Almost. Almost. Luckily, Calliope saved me. She saved, saved my cheeks. Oh. Oh dear. 
Uh, are you okay? No. Yes! I mean, no, kind of. I just... I didn't know. I, I, did, I did not know what was going to happen to me. She was a lot stronger than I thought. Oh, she tied me to the bed. Oh. And who was doing this? Oh, he's gonna do this? For Daddy. Oh, seriously. I, 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 I didn't know that Aphrodite was such a warrior. Oh dear, I, I am so sorry that that almost happened to you. Yeah, I think I'll always say that the end of the world, uh, huh? Yeah, I, I guess, but wow, she really almost, yeah, she almost, uh, I, don't like, I don't like talking about it, so if you don't mind, let's not, let's not bring it up too much, sure, sure, it's just, wow, I think I, I, I never, oh, yeah. Can't forget. It, it, it can happen. Huh. So, do, do, do you want to talk about it? Not now. It's just, ugh, I didn't think it would be so chaotic. <sighs> Seriously, of all the things. So why end up end up happening? Oh, okay. You know what? I I need to sit down. Yeah, good thing you can. I'm not in the mood for no jokes. It's, it's, it is no joke. You have anything alive? Uh, are you sure you're not into it? What makes you ask that question, Atreus? Atreus was a woman. All throughout the time I grew up with her. Him. Damn it. Huh. Good point, good point. Yeah. So... You don't know if you're into uh, that. No. Wait. No. 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 I'm, wait. I, I don't think so. No. I don't know uh, if what you say about Krios being from Greece is true and everything. Don't even make that joke. Hey, ain't nothing wrong with it. But I. Whatever. Just as far as I know, no. It's just that was way too close to comfort. If you excuse me, I am going to convince Calliope not to kill her father. Wait, what? <laughs>